everyone, it's David with Richter Scale Studios. I'm going to do a quick uh, tutorial. I saw an article in the forums on Cool Mini or Not about making your own um, slate for bases and terrain. And it's going to be using uh, Super Sculpey and uh, Original Sculpey. I guess there's some little bit of a chemical difference between the two uh, uh, mediums. So they will not combine, so you'll get a nice layering effect. It looked pretty cool, and I'd like to share this with everyone on YouTube. And um, I'm going to get this all mixed up. I'm probably going to take it in my kitchen. i got to bake it. So um, I'll be back in a minute. We'll take it apart. i um, going to even it out, then uh, roll it out, uh, layer it, then bake it, and go from there. And I'll see you soon. Hey, I'm back real quick. I'm just going to show. I'm in my kitchen, and I'm just using a plastic card for sale sign to protect the counter. I don't think it's going to help hurt it anyways. Super sculpy. And I got a piece of PVC pipe I'll use to roll it out with. And I'll probably go grab a. What I have in here in the kitchen? We'll do some cutting. We'll have a razor knife and a. Uh, it's a regular pocket knife we use for cutting and stuff. And I'll get this open. I'm going to measure it out, and we'll be back. Thanks. Hey, I'm back real quick. Um, yeah, you don't need to cut this stuff. It breaks apart pretty easily. So I got this two slabs of the uh, Super Sculpey, and I got two slabs of the um, regular Sculpey. This does look kind of like crumbling on this stuff, but we'll work with it. This stuff looks like it'll be easy to, to manage. And I'm going to roll these into some balls, and we'll go from there. I don't know if this is old or not, but um, it is taking a while. It was very crumbly when I first got it. It's been in my desk for a while. Uh, the uh, Super Sculpey I've had just got a couple days ago. This I've had. I've never worked with it. I usually use um, green stuff or just like that cheap five-minute epoxy stuff for uh, doing some quick sculpting. But um, this is actually giving me a good little hand workout. And it is coming together. It was really crumbly at first. That was odd. The other stuff, the Super Sculpey, looks much more uh, moist. I'm not sure if anyone can make comments because this stuff is very crumbly to work with at first. I'm just kind of patting around to pick up the crumbles, but um, it is loosening up nicely. I noticed I lost another crumble, so I'm going to go into my sink. Just working it down, and I'm going to sit here and struggle for a while, and come back I'll do uh, see how the uh, super sculpting works then we'll get this uh, show on the road and start making uh, the slate that I talked about and I'm working the uh, super sculpting now doesn't crumble as much as the sculpey but it is much more dense and it gives you way better uh, <laughs> wrist and hand workout getting this stuff going but it is given it's just taking a while I know these are huge pieces, but I want to make a, a lot of this stuff. I don't know how expensive you buy the slate. And you can buy cheap slate over at, you know, at a do-it-yourself store and crumble it up and stuff. But I want something you have a lot of control over and also something you make yourself. It's kind of cool. And, you know, paying that top dollar for stuff at your favorite local gaming store in a little plastic tub is ridiculous. But I thought this would be kind of fun to do as a little project. And uh, we're... Kind of getting there. Also, I came up with a little idea. I've got like a little, I think a three quarter inch PVC pipe wrapped it in foil. I'm going to give it a little texture on top after I roll it out and layer it. Like, you know, Slate has those different layers. That's the whole point of this. You have some, uh, a lot of texture to your bases and also, you know, lay a little stuff around your terrain pieces and stuff like that. And I've done a few terrain pieces. Um, I sold that one. I just did the, uh, uh, Sanctum Imperialis. I put that up on eBay for, uh, I believe, $25, and it sold for $76, and I got a uh, rave reviews from the buyer, which I'm very happy about. I put a lot of love into that. You saw the, uh, was a 12-part series of building that thing, and I really enjoy doing the train. I do enjoy, enjoy everything in the 40K modeling, but let me get this going still and so I don't bore you with my little rant while I'm doing this. This is crazy. But um, I'll be back in a few. Thanks. I'm back again. Oh, I'm back again. Um, I decided to cut this down a little bit into size. Um, those chunks are hard to work with. And uh, I'm just going to see if I do a couple batches of this. 
and you know experiment from there and I just want to keep everyone updated and I want to rant so um which I seem to be doing right now this is kind of fun but um let me get these rolled out and we'll be back thanks I am back I'm just going to layer these two together try to get them nice and close as possible so just trim some of the excess off there there and uh, let's see flip that over start rolling it some more Um, cut in half again. And we'll do how about that. So there we go. We got like a little sandwich. Looks like some cheese and bologna mixed together, kind of. And we'll keep mixing it. And I'm not going to worry about having it too mixed together because you know how rock is never always perfect. So this will make it even a little more realistic. So if some of the white touches the white, that'll be fine. That'll make it a little, like a little thicker piece in there because it'll blend. And then like the uh, tan clay hitting the tan clay. Let's cut that again. On camera. There we go. Tan on white. Let's pull it up. And we'll roll it some more. Well, I'm going to keep doing this and uh, I will get back. I understand when I run in the directions, it takes uh, 15 minutes at 275 for a quarter inch. So I'm probably about at a half inch right now, and I'll be back, thanks. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it almost looks like prosciutto ready to go. Um, I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm not gonna uh, do any more to it. It's about a quarter inch. I think it'll be a good size right now, and there's, I'm gonna break it up. And you can see there is dozens and dozens of layers now on both sides. I'm gonna take this Foil paper. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But it's kind of dimpling it and making ridges. Try to make it a little better thing. Maybe roll one of these in glue and sand. It kind of neat. I like the foil paper kind of. Give it some, you know, something to dry brush on top of. And maybe that wasn't a good idea. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's flip it over real quick. Get that rubber stuff inside. That gives them some interest. I do it lighter on this side because I want to take the uh, texture off the bottom part. So I'm just going to take a little foil lined uh, cookie sheet right here, load those bad boys up, and I got the oven across here, let's see, can you see it over there, oops, Merry Christmas everyone. I got it preheated to 275 according to the directions, it's about a um, quarter of an inch thick each piece. Put that at kitchen timer. 
and we're ready to go. And uh, that'll be it for right now. I'll be back and see what we got. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm back. We're out of the oven after 15 minutes. Just kind of giving it, it's still pliable, but you can see it's uh, cracking. So I'm going to let this cool for a while. I said you can put it in ice water. I'm just going to let it cool naturally, then I'll be back with it, and we'll break it up and go from there. Hey, I'm back. Uh, I let this stuff cool on the uh, foil as like kind of a heat sink to pull the heat out of it faster. And it has got some flex to it. Let's see what we can do with this. There we go. See if we can cut it, score it, and then interesting. Let's see if we can do this piece here. Uh, it might not be as good as I thought, but we'll we'll check it out. Let's see what it looks like when you. Uh,